Hey, hey, glory holes. I'm ready to spill some of the tea. Please understand that this is extremely difficult for me to make, but it's even more difficult for me to hold it all inside. Over the past two years, my family and I have endured a very traumatic experience, and we are finally in a place where we feel at home and are at peace. I have just been soaking it all in and trying to process that it's finally over. So I'm gonna take things slow, but I will give you the key points right now. My husband and I were sued by our now former neighbors for alleged water damage to their property and alleged defamation for my TikTok videos. Prior to Basin in War, I was a digital creator and influencer. Base and War did not give that to me. I already had this platform. When a camera was installed that had the capability to see what I believe should have been private areas of my home and my three children, I went to my platform and asked my following how I could block that camera. The next day I woke up with a bunch of new followers and messages because some random media publication, the Dot Daily or some crazy thing, published my story. And I will tell you, every news article out there that has published any, any of my TikToks, because I've had several now, they have never asked for my permission beforehand. I haven't even seen them until people have alerted me of them being out there. So they, they lie when they say that they have been in cahoots with me and have been my permission. The only people that have ever had my permission to share my content was A&E Customer Wars. A lot of things transpired over the course of the lawsuit. A lovely Reddit group was made in my honor to spew very, very nasty, hateful things. I was stalked, harassed, doxxed, a lot's happened. I'm breaking out in anxiety hives because of how triggering this is for me. <laughs> but I need, I need to tell my story. Plaintiffs asked for a gag order so that my videos wouldn't sway a future jury. I was ordered to a partial gag order as to not say their names, which I never have publicly. But because I witnessed something inappropriate happening, I yelled the name I was not supposed to yell at the person whose name it was. The plaintiffs held me in contempt and the judge found me guilty of contempt because she told me not to say something and I said it. I also was charged with disorderly conduct. That was a separate suit outside the lawsuit, dealing with the same former neighbors, but I had actually two cases going on. I was never arrested. So remember those accounts that liked to pop on Sarah Bobera and Kelly Carino? Yeah, it was very easy to find out who they were linked to. Yeah, I was charged with disorderly conduct and actually, that's the bigger story and the more frightening story, I guess, that has come out of this entire situation because it deals with the Summit County Sheriff's Department and how truly fucked up the judicial system is. And trust me, that will have its own story time. I do not regret any of my actions the past 34 years of my life, actually. I have CPTSD. I am a mom that has lost a child. So when a threat comes to my family and my home, I'm not gonna lay down and take it. We went to court multiple times, but the lawsuit actually never really started. At the beginning of April, the judge signed off, officially dismissing all claims. Before we ever got to discovery, we were sued over alleged claims without any proof of anything. To answer the big question, did you lose the lawsuit? Nobody wins in a lawsuit. We won in the fact that nobody ever got claim to Bertha. She was our property. We won in the fact that we finally got the hell out of that toxic environment. And we won because it really showed us how strong of a family we are. And it really, really showed me how strong my marriage is. Never in my life I have I ever felt like anybody was truly on my side. And I married somebody that is. And I also have found amazing strangers out there who really do, do care about me and connect with me. 
and I would not have made it this far without the support of you strangers. <laughs> this experience has truly taught me what I want out of life. Do I want to just be mad all the time and defending myself all the time? No, that's not what I started doing on here and that's not what I'm gonna keep doing. Yes, I will defend myself, but we're here to have fun. We're here to inspire. We're here to make people not feel alone. I'm a mother, a wife, a sister, an artist, a creator, a writer, a dancer, and I'm gonna bring all that here. I'm queen of the motherfucking glory holes. And you better believe that I know that comma should not be after the eye.